y'all thank you for tuning in to my channel and today i'm going to show you guys how i make custom labels custom wine labels for an event i have coming up these are a staple at like weddings different little parties just a cute take home favor that your guests will love so i opened up a blank canva um, I turned my background black just so you guys can see everything um, and so I can see because the labels that I'm making are white. So I just went over to Elements and I grabbed a square and I'm sizing that three by three. So the height is going to be three and the width is going to be three. And as you move it, um, the height and width definitely will show in the corner. So you just size it to three by three. All right, y'all, so now that we got our measurements, I'm turning it white because my label will be white because I need it to match these chip bags. And I will show you guys how to do that in a later video, but today we're working on these labels. So I like things to be exact. Um, here you can see me, um, Canva not Canva, y'all. <laughs> uh, I was pulling the wrong thing. It's because I sent something to the back, so it would take a, you know, a little minute to get it through. So what I just went ahead and did, was i went over in my uploads and i'm so sorry that my uploads and all that like my sidebar did not show i'm super sorry but i went over there and i just pulled my client's invitation when i pulled their invitation and you guys can see right here y'all i was so sad that none of this was recording while i was doing this but i'm gonna do my best so here's the invitation so i just cropped out what i didn't need which is all the invitation the invite inf information i did not need none of that so i just cropped it out and guess what y'all i am going to just place this size this and place this on my square and that's gonna be my label like look how easy this is now you guys definitely can design your wine bottle labels however you want um like i said i need this to match the chips and i'm gonna definitely show y'all like y'all gonna see even how it looked on the table i'm gonna add that in too it was beautiful okay so this is the label and here um you see how it matches just everything i didn't add the smoke i was like yeah that's not needed um so here i'm just highlighting the whole thing and i'm grouping it and once i group it it will not move nothing on that little square will move so that's the plus about grouping everything so i just duplicate uh that image several little times so i can go ahead and get everything printed out but here you guys go and you can see that it looks perfect they're beautiful all right so let's get this downloaded um i went over to the top and i shared it and once you share i always when i'm printing like labels and stuff i always put it as pdf print you'll see underneath it say best for quality I always do that because when you're printing that on PDF, it just gives a, a better look. It's like a better quality, y'all. Your client will love you for that. Um, Yeah, so I did that and I put it to the current page, which is page two. And this is the paper that I use. Uh, my Walmart did not have a glossy white matte paper. So I'm sorry, guys, that it wasn't fully inside of the image. I'm so mad at this, y'all. But I'm sorry. Um... But this is the paper I had, the matte white, 8.5 by 11, simple Avery, simple, oops, sorry, <laughs> super simple Avery paper, um, and the printer I'm using is none other than a $39 Walmart printer, Canon printer, printer, I'm sorry, Canon, no, it's HP, I'm sorry, but that's all, that's all I'm using, this test does not take a lot, this is a great add-on to any business and a great party favorite that your guests will love so this is how it looks once i downloaded my pdf i'm going to go print it um i need an eight of these so i'm definitely printing off one copy now just for the video purposes and then i'm gonna go ahead and make another copy so yeah guys 
now that I have it all printed out, this is how it looks. I used um, a paper cutter. I got this from Walmart for about $13. But I'm also linking one inside of my Amazon link. And you guys can definitely go purchase it from that. Uh, those are how the labels look. And I want you guys to see here. Um, this is the label. Now, this is the manufacturer label. I'm going to take that off. Um, you also can use a heat gun to help get that adhesive off. I will also link that in my Amazon storefront, but as well as just peeling it and using um, alcohol to remove the adhesive will work as well. So that's what I choose to do because I was too lazy to bend down, y'all, and get my heat gun. Yes, I was. <laughs> but that's what I did, y'all. Y'all can see the adhesive on there, but definitely once I lay the um, label down, I will go where the adhesive is showing and I will use the glue i mean i'm sorry i will use a cotton round and alcohol to just scrub it off just to give it a clean look you don't want to have all that adhesive on um this favor so there i go pulling it off it is perfect guys i'm so sorry all of this couldn't be seen i thought it was being recorded y'all i'm so sorry y'all gonna get bad, bad out of these videos okay so Everything that I use will be in my storefront on Amazon, so you guys can purchase. And here is the bottle. Y'all see that little corner that was lifting up? I didn't realize that I left like a little piece of the sticker on the corner, but I'm definitely going to remove that. But it came out beautiful, y'all. You can't... This came out beautiful. Thank y'all for watching. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing another video showing other favors. And I'm going to be having a class soon. So stay tuned. And here is the finished look on the table. Beautiful. Thank y'all for watching. I will definitely do another video showing how I did other favors um, for this event. But here is the finished product, y'all.